Lorenz curve Now that we have learned about the numerical methods of dispersion, we will move on to study the graphical method called the Lorentz curve. It was developed by Max O. Lorenz in 1905 for representing the inequality of wealth distribution. Lorentz curve is a graphical representation of the information or given data in a cumulative manner which is expressed in percentages to indicate the degree of variability. It is most useful in comparing the variability of two or more distributions. A common aspect seen is that National income is usually expressed in terms of percentages. For example, top 10% of the people of a country earn 50% of the national income, while top 20% account for the top 80% of national income. An idea about these income disparities is given by such figures. Hence, we take a step further to mark these figures on a graph called the Lorenz curve to find out the degree of variability. An example for the same. Now we will talk about the Lorentz curve which is constructed on a graph paper based on percentages with the help of an example as seen. A quick look at the steps necessary to create the Lorentz curve from the given data. 1. Calculate the midpoints. 2. Calculate cumulative midpoints. 3. Convert these cumulative midpoints into percentages. 4. Calculate cumulative frequencies. 5. Calculate percentage of cumulative frequencies. Calculate the midpoints of the income limits as shown in column 2. Calculate the cumulative midpoints of the income limits as shown in column 3. Calculate the percentages of cumulative midpoints as shown in column 4. Calculate the cumulative frequency from the frequency given as in column 6. The last step is to calculate the percentages of the cumulative frequency given as in column 7. From the columns 4 and 7, we will now construct the graph with the help of the following steps involved. The scale of both X and Y axis will be from 0 to 100 as it states the percentages. Thus, each axis will have the values from 0 to 100. The line joining coordinate 0, 0 and 100, 100 is drawn. This is called the line of equal distribution of wealth as shown in the figure that is line OC. The scale of the axis will be from 0 to 100 as it states the percentages. Thus, each axis will have the values from 0 to 100. The x-axis is the cumulative population, that is, the number of employees, F. And the y-axis is the cumulative midpoints as the percentages. The coordinate 30, 10 shows that 30% of the people earn 55% of the national income in the country. 
which also displays the cumulative share of people from lowest to the highest incomes. I hope all of you are clear with this concept of measuring dispersion. In a nutshell, there are two main methods of measuring dispersion, namely numerical and graphical. Lorentz curve, being the graphical method, shows the distribution of wealth of a country among different percentages of the population in a country. This estimates the dispersion and the variability of a data based on percentages plotted on a graph. Is it clear? Yes, yes ma'am! Ma